Hey guys, it's Jan, Not A Real Farm. Welcome back, it's December the 28th. First of all, before I start anything, I wanna say happy birthday to my son, Gabe, who has turned 18 today and I feel really old. So, <laughs> happy birthday, Gabe. We will be celebrating with a nice big chocolate cake later. However, that's not what I wanna to talk to you about. Today, what I wanna to talk to you about is looking for different solutions and things that we can get to grow our microgreens, or our plants uh, or our seedling starts without soil. Now, as you know, if you've ordered any soil this year, you've had it pre-mixed and delivered to your home or even just gone to buy soil in the bags, you know exactly how expensive that can be. Um, you know now, especially with diesel and gas and the price to deliver, ordering soil can now sometimes just be almost astronomical and not even worth it. So I wanted to share with you something that we're gonna be doing here at Not A Real Farm. And one of those is the solution to try and grow uh, fully, I guess, bigger greens and microgreens, if I wanna try microgreens. I haven't really decided that yet. I, I see the benefit of them, but I just look at the seeds and I say, oh no, maybe I can grow a bigger plant. I don't know. Um, I haven't, I'm sort of on the fence with microgreens, but we are going to be looking at um, growing in a soilless medium. So I just wanted to show you that really quickly. I have an interesting company that I found and I'm not affiliated with them, so I don't have any links, um, but I wanted to share these with you. These are called natural fiber growing cubes and really what they're made out of is they're made out of hemp. And so you can see here that you can grow your plant either to full size or you can do microgreens or you can do plant starts. So there's 98 cubes in this particular mat, and I've got, I don't know, I think I got about seven or eight of these. And this is what I'm gonna be taking down um, into the solarium in the basement because we have a new solarium in the basement, and then transferring these cubes outside into the greenhouse to plant these straight into the ground without soil. So when they're delivered, I'm just gonna take it out of the bag so you can see. If I can get the plastic off, that would be nice. Now, if I take this completely out of the plastic, I'm never going to get it back in. <laughs> so what you do basically is there's little holes in the hemp fiber here that you can see. And you can just plant your seeds directly into that. And when the plant obviously becomes big enough for you to transplant, because that's the idea of what Not A Real Farm is going to be doing, you then just break off the cube. See that little cube there? and then you place it directly into the ground. The company is called Terra Fiber, and I stumbled onto the company by accident, just looking for alternative methods to uh, grow without soil and start starts. Now, Monkey Mommy, I think it was you that told me that you were trying to grow, I think, sprouts or greens or something in the house, and you sort of had that um, the craziness with the white flies, and that's kind of what we're trying to eliminate, is if we are gonna be starting our starts inside, we wanna do it without soil. So this would inevitably, get rid of that problem is growing it in hemp cubes. So, like I said, there's 98 holes or 98 cubes in this particular mat. Um, I've actually gotten quite a few mats because I don't anticipate actually growing six or seven mats of 100, you know, 100 cubes each in the greenhouse. There's a whole bunch of other things I want to try this year, but I'm going to be taking my starts and, and probably taking about two of these, maybe three, and starting my plant starts in these and then moving them downstairs so that they get more light. And then when the time is right, moving those directly outside. But the best thing about it is, is that there's no bugs. Um, and I've also learned that by growing in the hemp cubes, you don't have to water as often. And that's a really big concern is the watering aspect of it. So when you're planting in these cubes, what happens is, is it will retain the water where you're only having to water your sprouts or your plants or your starts uh, every other day. So I just wanted to point these out because I know a lot of people are looking for solutions to start their plants earlier, maybe start them inside. I know I like to start them inside when it's too cold outside before I move everything over. And I thought this was a really great solution to that. Um, and like I said, they hold sprouts, microgreens, or any other seedlings that you have. And then you just take these cubes after they get to, like if you're doing plants, and you just plop them directly into your soil outside. Take a look on their website. It's Terra Fiber. It's down here, actually. Uh, www.terrafiber.ca. They're a part of the Biocomposites group. 
I really think this is a really great alternative for growing on the inside of your house if it's something that you know you're interested in doing. I just thought I'd point that out. So I've got several of these cubes going and I also bought a roll. So I'm gonna show you what this, this mat looks like. Okay, so this is the 120 foot roll of hemp that I got with it as well. So the idea with this is to, you can cut these into cubes. As a matter of fact, they have cubes that you can put around your trees to suppress the weeds. But this was going to be used to start most likely a little bit of a lettuce bed. Um, I do have, like I said, I have a grow shelf in here, so I'm able to actually take this, cut it to size, and roll it out onto the mat that I have for my grow shelf, and then plant, I don't know, onions, lettuce, basically whatever I want, and they will sprout inside and I can water them in this hemp as opposed to using soil. So this is what we're gonna use this year, guys. Um, it's an experiment, but I do think that it's a great alternative to start your starts on the inside um, of the house if you're interested in doing that. I know a lot of us, like I said, do that. And the very interesting thing that I really liked about these cubes is that they actually hold a thousand times their weight in water. So like I said, you don't have to actually water as often as what you would as if we were using a regular planter, which is really nice. So I thought I would just point it out if you guys want to take a look at the website, it is, where is it again? TerraFiber.ca. I believe they're out of Alberta. Awesome. I can't wait to try these, but I really wanted to, uh, to share that with you. So you're probably going to be seeing me uh, on camera planting in these and experimenting and probably really enjoying the fact that they're going to be super easy to use and less messy and using less soil. I think it's probably time now with the crazy weather, um, you know, going back and forth with dry and hot and trying to figure out how we're going to water or not water. Um, I think it's a great opportunity to really figure out alternative growing medias. So that's it. Hemp growing cubes and mats. That's what we're going to be using. Just thought I'd share that with you. Have an awesome day, guys. If you have any questions, please pop them below thumbs up on the video, and subscribe. See you soon.